everyone it's joy and welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you the 35th anniversary dolls at the american girl place in san francisco it's actually not in san francisco they just say it's the american girl place san francisco but anyway as you first walk through the doors there is this display the store itself is really really tiny so there's only like two displays for the 35th anniversary dolls and like not that many in stock but luckily I was able to go and there were some in stock, even though it said they were out of stock on the website, so that was kind of weird. Um, so at first you can see me looking at Molly because that is the doll I was considering getting most, so I wanted to see what she was like. And then there's Felicity and she's really pretty. Um, I was considering getting Felicity, but not that much. And then there's Josefina, which her outfit is really pretty, but for whatever reason she never really was that interesting to me. And then Kirsten, which I think is adorable, and she was my second choice that I didn't end up getting, but I think she is adorable, especially her outfit and her story. Along with Kirsten, we also have Addie, which I have an original version of Addie, so I was not thinking of getting Addie, but she is really beautiful. And then last but not least is Samantha. I also have an original version of Samantha, and but my Samantha does not have curly hair, which is what I'm showing you guys here. Um, but I did not end up getting Samantha. So just one more time, I go around and show you guys all of the different dolls. And then I'm going to show you guys all of their books. So the books are recreations of the original books from 1986, I believe. I have an original Meet Samantha book. It is hardcover, so it's slightly different. But these ones also say, uh, well, you could check the time it was published, but I think they also say American Girl's 35th Anniversary on the bottom. They also had this little poster at the top with the picture that was on the website and Instagram. So these were all of the Felicity, Kirsten, and Samantha dolls they had in stock. They really only had two or three of each of the dolls because there wasn't much room for any more of them in the shelves. Um, they did have three of the molly dolls for me to choose from one which was in the back which i had them holding for me but unfortunately she had crooked eyes so i ended up switching her for one that was actually in store that did not i'm sure they had more dolls maybe in the back for to restock the shelves but in the actual shelves that was all they had so uh, now i'm comparing the doll that they gave me which is the one on the left right here you can see that she has a pretty crooked right eye which I hadn't actually come across before, but I ended up spotting it, and that's why I decided not to get that molly. So the molly on the right is, I think, the one that I ended up getting, but overall there were three mollies that I had to choose from, and the third one just kind of had slightly ruffled bangs, and I there was nothing major wrong with her, I just decided not to get her because her bangs were kind of crazy, and I wanted one that was in a little bit more of perfect condition. I mean, okay, wait, wait. They've got 67. They've got 67 over here. 85. 80. 85. They don't have 58. 82 is out of stock. But they don't have 58 anywhere. Like, I'm. No, okay, she's supposed to be. It goes 55. It goes 55, 56, 57. 58 should be right there. So I don't know why Truly Me 58 is out of stock in here. There are rumors that she may be retiring, but I really hope that isn't true. So I made it home and I unboxed Molly. She's just so beautiful and I'm honestly in love with her. I've had her for a while now by the time this video is coming out. It's honestly been like two or three weeks. I've just been putting off filming this for forever. So I'm glad I'm finally getting around to filming this. So anyway, this is Molly. Uh, she kept freaking me out and falling backwards off of the little thing that I have set up for her because it's like up a bit in my room. And she's fine still, but she fell backwards like three times and I could not get her to stop. So I put her on a stand so she won't fall backwards anymore. Um, but like I said, I already took her out of her box. So it's not really an unboxing. It's kind of just more like a showing you what she came with. So uh, first of all, with the stuff that's actually on her, she has this little kit that hopefully you guys can see there you can see the little design on it um 
it has like a little heart and then a flower which I think is really cute and pretty. Uh, it's different than the original locket though. The design is slightly different and also it doesn't open. Another cool thing about the locket is that the way that it goes on and off is like this little hook instead of like an actual clasp. So that's really, really nice because it makes it really easy to put on and take off of Molly. She also comes with her famous glasses, these only brown glasses that American Girl has from what I know. And uh, the original Molly used to have glasses that just had straight, uh, effort. I don't know what these are called, but like just the way that it gets on to, gets put on her face was straight. But they actually changed that with the re-release, hopefully you can see. But it actually clips around her ear and makes it really nice and easy to get on and off. And it's like really perfect because then her glasses don't fall off all the time, which I know is a problem for people who own the older version of Molly. So this is really nice and it's just like, honestly, I don't think I would have her wear her glasses if it was, if they kept falling off her face because it would be really annoying for stop motions and stuff. It is still kind of hard if you do stop motions to have Molly blink in the stop motion that I did with her uh, that is should be out already. I think, yeah, it's out already, um, that I didn't really make her blink hardly at all in the stop motion because it was really, really hard because the glasses are so close to her face and I didn't want the sides of the glasses scratching her face every time I took her took it off to blink, so it, I just ended up not really taking her glasses off much. Along with Molly, I also have her box, obviously. So her box is original, it looks like the original um, version and it says the American Girls Collection and then it says Molly McIntyre at the bottom and then at the very bottom it says Molly McIntyre's 35th Anniversary Collection so you would easily be able to dis distinguish that from the actual original. Uh, and then on the side it says American Girl and on the back it just says uh, what is in the box. Um, it un she comes out of the box really easily, just like any of the other American Girl dolls. And she also came with a few accessories, so I'm going to show you those now. So first of all, she came with her book that says Meet Molly. It looks like the original uh, 1990s version of Molly's book. And I think I actually have an original version of Samantha's book or something, because this style of the books looks very familiar to me, but I don't think I have Molly's. So it's really cool to have this version and then it has like the family tree in the front and then different illustrations throughout the book which I thought is really cool. Actually I might have this illustration looks very familiar, I don't know why. Um, I might have an older version, I'm not positive. Let me just check real quick. So it looks like I don't have an original Molly book but I do have an original 1986 Meet Samantha book so that's pretty cool. Along with the book, part of Molly's outfit that I actually took off is this little, I don't know what it's called, but it's just a little piece that is part of her meat outfit that I thought didn't look very modern, so I took it off for the stop motion, and also I tucked in her shirt, if you guys noticed, to make it look more modern so it fit more with the rest of my dolls. Along with that, to hold the glasses, it, uh, the set comes with this glasses case, which easily fits the glasses inside of them. And it also comes with her handkerchief that says Molly on it, and I think that's just super cute, and the stitching around it is adorable. I don't really know what I'd use this for, maybe I'll just put it somewhere in the kitchen, but it's really cute. Another thing that comes with, I'm pretty sure, all the 35th anniversary dolls is this piece of paper that says celebrating 35 years, and then it shows all of the 35th anniversary dolls inside of them, which I think is really cool. And last but certainly not least of the accessories of Molly McIntyre is this little red purse which has a button and then it just opens and you can put stuff inside of it. Uh, this purse is really cute. It wouldn't really, I mean it would be able to go over their shoulders nicely, it wouldn't be able to go over their head, um, but it's just a little handbag and I think it is really really cute. So back to looking at Molly, her me outfit is pretty much the same as the original Molly. She has her, uh, just her shirt and her skirt. She also has her little black shoes and white socks, which are really cute, but really don't do a great job at keeping her balanced. Cause like I said, she fell backwards off of this thing like three or four times when I was trying to set this up. <laughs> the new 35th anniversary dolls also have an American Girl tag on their clothes. So if you're trying to see if it is a 35th anniversary outfit or a, uh, 
original outfit, then you can look for one of these tags because the original outfits don't have it. I really love Molly's meat hairstyle and I think it is really cute having her hair in the two little braids. And they did a really nice job of covering up uh, the extra part of the wig cap with little tiny baby hairs so that they d just doesn't leave a bald spot for her when she has the braids in which definitely happens with some of my other dolls, like Elizabeth, for example. I cannot put her hair in braids like this because there are just so many bald spots on her wig and it's just really sad. Also, I thought it was interesting that the bows were tied so that it could easily go over her shoulder in the front like this without having the bows be turned backwards. So when they're back behind her, it kind of looks strange because the bows are backwards. Um, but... Even though I really, really love her meat hairstyle, I have been dying to take it out and I have been waiting until I filmed this so that I could take it out because I wanted to make sure I showed you guys the original Molly straight out of the box without any modifications done to her hair or anything. Obviously, I will be putting Molly's hair back into these two braids every once in a while and they won't be the same as the original because these are like so perfect and I probably won't be able to recreate that exactly. Um, but I do really wanna see what her hair looks like out of the braids, so I'm gonna go ahead and take those out now. Yep, her hair is definitely going to be kinked, as you can see, which I'm actually really excited about because I love the way the hair looks on the American Girl dolls after it's been braided like this. It's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Hair is beautiful. And it's so soft too. It's been forever since I've had it all with this hair that's this soft. Because when I got Alexis and Micah, my two most recent new dolls, um, their hair wasn't super soft. So actually the most recent doll that I got new that had super soft hair was Leah and that was in that was in 2016, so that was quite a while ago. So this is what it looks like straight out of the braids, so I'm gonna go ahead and mess with it a little bit and see if I can get it looking more like it is just kind of wavy hair. <laughs> also, she is shedding quite a bit. Uh, let me see if I can show you guys. So like, there are quite a bit of hair pieces that are falling out, but it's nothing major, it's just a few pieces, which is expected with dolls like this. Um, usually I don't get it because I haven't been paying attention recently, but uh, there are quite a few strands of loose hair that are just coming out. But it's fine because it's kind of meant to do that. So this is Molly with her hair down. Uh, honestly, I think her hair is really pretty either way. I am kind of liking her hair in the braids more, to be honest. Um, right now, I kind of swooped her bangs over like that because, I don't know, she just, I don't know, something, I'm not exactly sure. I did take off her glasses, so here, let me put those back on. Um, something just seems, like, different. There's an obvious different, like, feel between the Pleasant Company and the re-release of Molly. I think they are both gorgeous, obviously. I love Molly so much. Uh, actually, here, let me untuck her shirt one second. She is so pretty, though. I untucked her shirt. You can't really tell on camera, but um, I think she looks gorgeous either way, honestly. I just had done that for the stop motion because I thought it looked more modern with her shirt un or with her shirt tucked in. Um, but Molly, honestly, is such a pretty doll. And I also happen to have a Truly Me doll that is slightly similar. Luckily, I don't have too many dolls that are similar. I do have Molly, but she's a Pleasant Company Molly, and I never use her, really. Um, I also have this doll, which is a uh, old, retired Truly Me, but honestly, she doesn't really look that much like Molly. She has, uh, like, more muted hair color. It's not really as rich of a brown color, if that makes any sense. And she also has freckles and vibrant green eyes. She does have a similar face mold maybe it's the same face mold i'm not too good with face molds um but i think they're different enough obviously where i think they'll be not you know look too similar because i'm not going to have them be related at all in my series because 
Grace already has a brother, so I don't really want to add any more siblings to that family. Um, but yeah, I think Molly is really pretty. I do think I will be doing her hair like up or in different braids a lot whenever I use her because I, I love her hair down, but I do think maybe once I play with it more, I'll be able to figure out how to style it down better. But I feel like right now it just kind of looks frizzy. So if I can get it to where it doesn't just look frizzy, I'll probably leave it down. But for now, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll mostly be styling it up, which I think her hair looks really pretty up. And um, I haven't completely worked out the character that she's going to play in my stop motions yet. She is not going to be part of the main group of dolls. Um, but I do want her to have a pretty major role in my stop motions because she is so pretty and I have literally wanted Molly since I was like 8 or 9. Uh, so I don't want to have her just sitting on the shelf as much as some of my other extra dolls might. Like for example, um, my boy doll, I've only used him once and then I haven't used him again since then. Uh, that wasn't that long ago that I used him, but still I do want to be using Molly a lot more in stop motions pretty regularly. So actually, if you saw my newest stop motion, or my most recent stop motion, uh, you will know that Molly is actually going to be moving in with the dolls for a while. So that is my first attempt of trying to develop her character more and have her be more involved in the stop motions. She is actually one of Emily's old friends, and she came to visit. So let me know if you guys have any personality suggestions or any character trait ideas that you think Molly should have. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what I want to do with her. I do have a small idea of what her personality will be. She's not necessarily going to be the mom of a, the group like uh, Molly in Mixie Fixie 7 is. However, she is going to be a more mature character, but I also want her to be really fun-loving and kind of quirky as well. So let me know what you guys think, and I will be using her with her glasses, because I think the glasses are really cute and add a lot to her personality. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have Molly in my collection, and thank you to everyone who said that I should get her. I was deciding between her and Kirsten, and I think I definitely made the right choice. If you are considering getting Molly, I would totally recommend it. You will not regret getting her. She is a beautiful doll, and I think she would fit well into any collection. Like, literally, she is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon with another video, hopefully a stop motion. Um, I think I have something coming out in the middle of this week or something like that. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I already said that. Uh, anyway, bye!